The word on the street was that Steve McMahon's future was riding on this game, a local derby and all. What pressure, but what power, what presence the Reds showed as they ran the yellows into the ground. Dar had the ball in the back of the net and had the fans on their feet before United knew what had hit them. The blows came thick and fast then. Phil Whitehead caught and stopped most of them. And then United hit back with an equaliser. Scorer Nicky Banger ripped off his shirt in delight. Come on, you yellows, was the roar. And come on, they did. At half-time, it was still anybody's game. Both managers preached their words in the dressing room, but the name on everyone's lips in the second half was Swindon. The Reds should have taken the lead here. No goal, said the ref, but our camera said the ball was over the line. There were no more escapes for United after that, though. Town went for the kill. If the Honora made it 2-1. Three minutes later, it was iffy again, and it was 3-1. It was all over for Oxford, not all over for Swindon, as George and Dar went racing through to make it 4-1. The players had pleaded with McMahon to stay on after the latest round of job cuts. And the message all around the county ground was pretty clear. McMahon must stay. So for town, it was a big win. For United, it was a big disappointment. And for one man, it was a very, very big night. I'm absolutely delighted for them players. And you could see the, you could see the way they run about tonight with the enthusiastic and... And, um, determination, commitment, and, uh, and what more can you ask as a manager? If, if the players give you that, then regardless of the result, then uh, you can go home happy, can't you? So what happens now to Steve McMahon? Uh, well, I, I go and have a drink straight after this. <laughs> That's what happens to me. Um, <clears throat> and I can sleep better tonight. And then we'll train and we'll get up and we'll, we'll, we'll gather our thoughts again and we'll look forward to Saturday. You're staying? I'm staying. Um, and, and again, it's like anything else, life, you know, if this hadn't come out, then... Things happen anyway, don't they? Football, you never know what's around the corner in football. Never, ever know what's around the corner. I didn't know what was around the corner until Friday. Uh, it smacked me in the face. Um, it's hurt. Um, it's been very emotional, very distressing time for the families concerned. Because I'm not just, uh, they don't just work with me, they were friends of mine. And uh, it's, it's difficult to, to see when I'm still here that they've lost their jobs. The job now for Swindon is to keep the winning run going. The job for Oxford is to keep well out the way of relegation.